AI image editors are incredibly useful. In a few seconds, you can make edits that might take an hour or more to do manually. But up until recently, these tools could be a bit wonky to say the least, so the results weren't always something you could use. But with the release of Google's Nano Banana, that changed in a big way. It regularly surprises me with how accurate it is in following instructions. But the user experience through the web interface is less than ideal. Upload an image, type out a request, then wait, and download the result. And then repeat that for every image. So that's why I created what I call the Banamera. It's a digital camera that takes pictures just like any other camera when you press this button. But when you press this other button, that's when the magic happens. A microphone on the side records your voice and the request that you make is forwarded to the Nano Banana API behind the scenes. Within a matter of seconds, the image on the screen updates, showing the result produced by the model. Let's take a look at the hardware and I'll tell you how this all works. This is a prototype of the hardware that I stuffed into the Lego case that you saw earlier. It is built around a Raspberry Pi 02W single board computer. I have a camera module 2 connected to the computer to capture images and a 2.2 inch LCD display to show those captured images. There's also an I2S MEMS microphone to record the user's voice. Everything is controlled by two buttons, as previously mentioned. One simply snaps a picture, and the other one edits it based on a verbal request. Let's dig into what that second button does a little bit deeper. First, it will record audio from the microphone, allowing the user to explain how they want the image to be edited. That audio is then forwarded along to a Gemini 2.5 flash LLM, along with a prompt instructing it to return only a transcript of the audio contained in the attached file. The extracted text is then sent to Nano Banana, along with the image captured by the camera. When the result is returned, it is displayed on the Banamera's screen. All right, let's take a look at the Banamera in action. So first I'll line it up and snap a picture. There are the Lego minifigs. There's a microphone over here on the side, and that's important when I press this other button for recording my voice request. Put these Lego minifigures on the moon. Leave the Legos unchanged. Now it'll take just a little bit. And there we go. Lego minifigures on the moon. Looks pretty good.